Hello all, welcome back to the English class. In this module, we will be discussing a few important questions which will help you to understand the text better. Let us look at the first question. Justify the title Keeping Quiet. As we all know, we were dealing with the poem titled Keeping Quiet written by Pablo Neruda. So the title of the poem is quite appropriate and logical. So as the very title indicates, keeping quiet. The need of keeping quiet is especially for the purpose of introspection. So the people of the world are overactive and always on move. They are so busy with their activities. So their activities have caused untold troubles and sufferings. So keeping quiet will do them a lot of good. It will save them from many harmful and violent activities. Moreover, it will help in reflecting. No doubt this word, it will help them to introspect or reflect over the fate of man and help in creating a feeling of mutual understanding among human beings. So human beings are so busy with everything else that they forget how to live in harmony and they forget how to love each other in this world. So the title Keeping Quiet is quite appropriate as it is so much of need at this time. Let us move on to the next question. Why does Pablo Neruda urge us to keep still? Let us look at the answer. Stillness is essential for calm reflection and quiet introspection. So as we told earlier, please note down this word reflection and introspection. It is for these two things that the poet is asking us to keep still. So we hear the voice of conscience in moments of silence. So the poet is convinced that most of human ills and miseries are caused by man's hurry and rush to do things. The poet wishes that we may withdraw ourselves from our undesirable actions and keep still for a moment in order to understand more about ourselves. Let us move on to the next question. How can suspension of activities help? So suspension of activities meaning to stop doing everything that we were doing until then or being still. Let us look at the answer. The poet believes that suspension of activities will allow man to introspect which in turn would help him to analyze his own actions which will solve many of their problems and it will also mend their destructive ways. So once they stop doing all kind of destructive activities, it will help them to have a better understanding about their own actions and they'll know what is right and what is wrong. It will solve many of their problems as well. Let us look at the next question. Do you think the poet advocates total inactivity and death? So this is one important question. The poet does not advocate total inactivity and death. So he clarifies this in his poem that he wants all the people to just stop for a while. In particular, he wants to stop us for just 12 seconds in order to analyze the activities and their consequences. He says that human beings are causing a lot of destructions to each other as well as to other living beings. So he wants human beings not to support war and damage to the environment. So a few moments of inactivity is not equated to death. Rather it is for introspection and reflection. I hope the answer is clear. Let us move on to the next question. What is the sadness that the poet refers to in the poem? Answer. So the sadness is the result of our own actions and deeds. According to the poet, we are all in a hurry of achieving various tasks in our life. We rush sometimes and it is dangerous for us. As we don't analyze our actions, 
we land ourselves in a number of problems so these problems then become the reason for our sadness as referred to in the poem so human beings as we said earlier are causing a lot of destructions they are running behind material things and they are still sad they are not able to find happiness in any of these let us look at the next question which images in the poem keeping quiet show that the poem condemn the poet which images in the poem keeping quiet show that poet condemns violence so the poet is never supporting violence he is completely against violence actually this can be called as an anti war poem as well let us see how the poet is talking or speaking against violence in this poem answer the images of fishermen not harming the whales in the sea and was leaving behind no surveys to celebrate the victory show that the poet condemns violence the poet wants the war mongers to change their blood stained clothes to clean ones the poet's refusal to have any association or dealing with death also shows that he is not in favor of any form of violence i hope the answer is clear moving on to the next one according to the poet what is it that human beings can learn from nature so this again is one important question the poet is giving us an example or a lesson that we must learn from our earth so life under apparent stillness in attitude is a thing which man can learn from nature so the earth is never in a state of total inactivity nature carries on its work even when there is stillness all around for this he is giving us the example of winter season which is associated with inactivity but later on the spring season arrives with the onset of spring season everything is blooming again and everything comes back to life so now we have gone through all the major questions from this chapter we'll discuss further in the interactive sessions thank you all